Hello everyone, um, part 2 of the solar power lecture series. We will talk about the different types of setups, um, the on-grid system, off-grid system, and hybrid system. Solar power system, basic design and calculations, part 2 of 5, solar power system setups. We have three main ways to set up our solar power system. The first type of setup is the <coughs> on-grid system. It is the most common type of setup due to its simplicity. Mm, it is also the cheapest, cheapest to set up and it has the fastest ROI or um, return of investment. As you are able to export your excess power back to the grid. You also don't need a battery bank and but the catch is you still need to connect your system to the power grid thus this is not um, applicable for remote areas and in case of a power disruption you won't have power as well. The reason being is that during blackouts, you should not be exporting power to the grid as the repairmen from your electric company might get uh, electro electrocuted. The second type of um, solar power system is the off-grid system. The off-grid system is typically installed in remote areas where there is not a power grid near nearby. This setup requires a battery bank to store the harvested solar energy during the day um, for use during the night or on days where it is very cloudy and the amount of sunlight is not enough to power your home. The third type of setup is called the hybrid system. Um, it combines the characteristics of both the on-grid and off-grid systems and this setup requires a battery bank and is also connected to the power grid. The battery bank may provide the full power as your appliances demand or it may just provide power to the to some to some of your appliances during the night or during blackouts the grid connect connection will function as your um, reserve or backup source of power so let's take a closer look at the on-grid system the on-grid system is the simplest and the cheapest to install as it only requires two main components the solar panels this one and the on-grid inverter this one as mentioned the on-grid system is still connected to the power grid there this one the utility if the load power requirement is too high it will import power from the grid and if the solar power system generates excess power it will export this power back to the grid and the tariff will be paid to you assuming that you have applied for net metering the downside of this oh sorry well the downside of this on-grid system is that it is not able to function during the blackout for safety reasons so if there is a power disruption you will also um, you will not also have power the off-grid system unlike the off-grid system which 
relies on power on the power grid to operate the off-grid system is totally independent of the grid and that it's that is why it is mainly installed in remote locations the good thing about the off-grid system is that it can provide you with power 24 hours a day and if properly designed based on your load the cons of installing an off-grid system is that it is expensive uh, as it requires four components the solar panels uh, the solar charge con controller or the SCC uh, we also have the battery bank and the off-grid inverter inverter the battery bank itself is expensive and has a lifespan of only three to five years hybrid system the hybrid system combines the best features of both the on-grid system and the off-grid system so during the day the solar panels can provide electricity to the load while charging the batteries at night the stored energy in the batteries will take over and if the battery bank runs out of power the grid or the utility will take over so just like the off-grid system setting up a hybrid system will also be very expensive this kind of setup requires four major components one is the solar panels or your solar array uh, next is the hybrid inverter next uh, you'll have the battery bank and lastly you will have your automatic transfer switch or ATS this ATS it will let you switch between your normal power source in this case that will be your solar power system and your reserve or your backup power source which will be your power grid or the utility yeah. uh, well as I have mentioned previously uh, on the off-grid slide Mm. batteries are expensive and they have a short lifespan around three to five years for lead acid batteries well so that concludes the second part of this lecture series and i hope you have learned something and see you in the next lecture series where i will teach you on how to design your own solar power system Thank you and have a nice day.